How's it going, guys? We are going to be doing a speedrun tutorial today. So we start out in the Chapel of Anticipation, right where you make a new character, and we are just going to book it over to the tutorial box. I thought about jumping off the edge, but I wasn't sure if that would fix it, so... that it would uh, proceed. The boss has to kill you, to my knowledge. So straight off the get-go, we are going to... We're going to continue on here. Now, honestly, you can probably, if you're confident in not dying, you can probably skip hitting all the bonfires. You're only really going to need uh, two big important ones. And one of them is the Stormhill Shack. And we run straight up on here through. Any sir, but you. I can play to Then I got bamboozled there and got turned around, but here we go. Now, this is the one that I was talking about that was really important. You need to get this bonfire to the right up here. I think I went pa right past it. Just to unlock uh, the next area. But you need to get Storm Hill Shack, which is just to the right as we were going up that hill. And I'll explain why once we get to our wrong teleporter. I don't quite remember why I made a new character. I think it was because I messed up part of the speed run. But we are just going to continue on from where we were at. So we spawn at Academy Gate Town, which was just a little bit to the north of where we were. We are just going to head straight north west. The very first thing that we are doing is heading straight to the four belfries. <clears throat> oh yes, and we can't forget our trusty rusty ice rind hatchet in the temple quarters. Turned around a couple times here. But we keep on going up and up and up.
Now, once you get to the four belfries, you're going to want to go to the top tower and open the chest to get an imbued key. That is what is going to let us proceed with the next part of this run. And then the first tower on the left that we see is the portal that we are going to use. That is going to take us to Crumbling Far of Missoula. See that first tower right here? Go up, there's bonfire and the chest here. Now, <clears throat> to do this next part, it is kind of tricky. You need to use your memory of grace. This guy just doesn't want to be our friend right now. Go through the portal. Now what you need to do is use the memory of grace. You're gonna hawk key your rest of grace on uh, Stormhill Shack. And so you pop the memory of grace, quickly open your map, quickly select, uh, again, I did some messed up stuff. The path isn't working way anymore. For the right car's path, it used to be that you would just select that and close the game while it's loading. I couldn't get that to work. Let's go through the portal. We're going to use the memory of grace. Memory of grace, and then open your map. If you hit uh, a triangle twice. I'm on PlayStation. It will quickly open up that bookmark resting area, bonfire, however you want to consider it. If done right, when you load into Stormhill, it'll look like you're falling, and you quickly have to press start and close your game. This will make it so that it doesn't know where to put you, and the closest area that it has registered is where you were, but at the actual entrance for Crumbling Farm Azula. <clears throat> and on and on we go. Ice Rhine Hatchet is going to be your best friend even with the nerfs for the speedrun because it takes no time to get. And it still does okay damage. He just about knocked me off there. Now what really surprised me here is I'm not packing a whole lot of damage at this point. And I guess part of the fun of playing without a HUD is also that you... have to play like every hit's your last, I'm just really bad. Okay, so we killed that, we get our ancient dragon smithing stone. got lots and lots of vigor which is nice you're gonna need that for speed running unless you're really good i'm not and we continue on here now did a couple stomps before i just said screw it i ain't dealing with these guys
continue up these stairs and up through here and we are going to have a boss fight here this will be the beast clergyman which turns into Malekith I believe is his name I do think I'm going to chop this boss fight as it takes a bit of extra time that's just not needed. But we go through the boss fight, we killed Malekith, and we are going to grab this sword from the cutscene. And continue on. So that will teleport us back to Lando, where, except it's on the ground level, it's not up in the castle and everything. Grab that bonfire, and we are going to whip on over through here. Again, just if you're doing this for the first time and you're not familiar with it, just follow the path. I'd only really recommend doing this if you're experienced with the game or leveled quite a bit because these bosses that you face are going to be pretty hard. Some of them are just unavoidable. We run over here, we jump down, we go up this tree. Jump up that tree, it brings us to Goad Free. There used to be an exploit where we could jump up the uh, one area. And then quit and rejoin and we wouldn't have to fight him. I'm pretty sure it's patched by now. That's everything. If you guys enjoyed, please like and subscribe and leave comments on what you would like to see next. Have a great day.